One species of bird that I hope to get uh, on my way out is a common ground dove because those are really common around here. They're hard to see around the city of San Diego. Uh, I just keep on pulling over on the side of the road. Uh, you know, I see a new swallow. I'm like, oh, is that a species of swallow I haven't seen yet today? What is that? I don't know, and then I'm like, oh, you know, what's that? I keep on seeing these morning doves on the ground from far away. And uh, I start to slow down, and then I see it's not a common ground dove. It's only a morning dove. But yeah, this is the land of plentiful red-winged blackbirds. Aldo Leopold would be really happy. Dirty, nasty farmland where it's super hot out. It's a place where most people would never think of visiting for fun. But the cool thing about birding is it brings you to places where people never go. You know, it's kind of adventurous being out here. By birding out in the Imperial Valley, I've actually learned, you know, a fair amount about like the industries that are out here and you know, just how the land is managed and everything. And I tell people in San Diego about this whole area and like a lot of people like barely know about this place. They don't know that it exists. And it's actually a really important place for the entire United States because, I mean, we actually get a lot of our produce from uh, this area, other areas of California too, but especially this area, so. Saw another Western Kingbird, seen probably about 300 so far. Uh, in the San Diego Basin, you will find mostly uh, Cassin's Kingbirds uh, in the summertime, and then the Western Kingbirds are mostly in the Imperial Valleys. Wow, look at all of these cliff swallows. So I just pulled over, my car's over there, and there are all of these cliff swallows that I believe are nesting right underneath this bridge. So now I am on Highway 8 going back in the direction of San Diego, but I'm gonna take an exit and go north through the Yonza Borrego Desert to hopefully pick up uh, things like black-throated sparrow, uh, Black-tailed gnatcatcher, Verdin, and actually that mountain straight out there, that is actually in Mexico, so we're pretty close to the Mexican border right here. Stopping at the gas station in Acutillo, getting some gas and getting another coffee, and then I'm gonna head north and get into the desert. of the day. So now I am in Anza Borrego State Park and this is part of the Colorado Desert which is characterized by a lot of these types of plants, Acotillo plants. So I'm going to take a few minutes and at least try to find the black-throated sparrow. Um, looks like there's some people over there so it's unbelievably hot out so you know in case something goes wrong <laughs> at least there's people over there. Okay, I finally found a pair of black-throated sparrows. They're singing in the shrub here. In the middle of the day, super hot out. Worst time of day to find them, but they are super common out here and they are a desert specialist. All right, I'm coming up to this patch of green stuff up here. I'm hoping that's good habitat for black-tailed gnatcatcher. Stop here, look for them. Wow, this is actually pretty fascinating. There is a Lee Spells Vireo calling right in there. And uh, that's a really special species. You know, I've had those in some of my other videos. It's a sensitive species in uh, California. It's a riparian specialist. I'm going off the path a little bit here. 
and watching my feed for snakes, although, you know me, I'm always looking for snakes too, but today the focus is birds. I don't know if you can hear the least bells vireos. There's some verdins calling over there. So I just saw a beautiful little pair of verdins. And I've also seen a black tail gnat catcher. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any of them on camera. I really gotta go because it is so hot down here. And I gotta get up into the mountains to get all these montane species before I get to the coastal basin. And I don't have much time left. It's already past noon. It'll be dark by 8 p.m. So I really gotta go. took a left to go on this road up into the mountains towards Julian and I could have stayed down here longer looking for cactus wren, rock wren, canyon wren, uh, Scott's Oriole, letterback woodpecker but I gotta go I'm on a schedule. We're gonna get up into the mountains I'm gonna this is gonna be pretty cool seeing the transition this is one of my favorite parts about San Diego County is seeing all the habitats uh, stuck together. There's so many different microclimates and microhabitats that uh, a lot of times when you're driving, the transition happens really quickly. And uh, pretty soon we're going to see a lot more species of birds that you can't find out in the desert. Right now I stopped in Julian, which is this beautiful mountain town. As you can see, they've kind of kept this historic feel to this town. I'm just stopping here really quick just to get a snack. And it feels a lot nicer up here. It's only like 85, 90 degrees. <laughs> it's probably about 15 to 20 degrees cooler than it was down in the desert. Julian is famous for its apple pies, and I definitely suggest you trying their pies up here. I did not get pie. I got healthy Greek yogurt instead. We're gonna skedaddle, we're gonna get into the forest, and we are going to probably fly the drone more. I've honestly spent more time, or maybe just as much time, uh, flying the drone as I have looking for birds, but whatever. I wanna make a dope video for you guys. All right, here's a cool viewpoint. It's called Vista Point, where I came from, right down there. I drove all the way up there. So I was driving and I saw what had to be some ravens, um, definitely some ravens. So that's a new one for today. I'm surprised those are the first ravens I've seen today actually. My father told me when I was just a child. And as I'm driving again, I just saw a Fano Pepla fly across the road. I couldn't really stop because the car was right behind me. And that's another thing too is, is uh, you know, if you really get into birding, uh, your eyes are going to wander while you are driving. Every day while I'm driving, I find my eyes following birds. You know, birding is an amazing activity overall. I think it is a very healthy activity. But it can be dangerous if you focus too much on the birds <laughs> while you are driving a car. Make sure that you drive safely. Make sure that if you're gonna pull over and get a good look at a bird, take photos of a bird. Make sure that you do it in a safe way. Make sure that you know, you're not parking illegally. So this highway is called the Sunrise Highway. And basically it kind of runs parallel to the Imperial Highway. The Imperial Highway is the one that I took north through
through the Anza Borrego Desert. And now I'm going south on the Sunrise Highway, which is basically just on the mountain ridge overlooking the desert. I just pulled over. I saw a whole family of quails fly right in front of me, and then they went down into the brush up the hill here. I think I heard it. It was a mountain quail. I've only seen mountain quail one other time in my life. How about that, gambles quail, mountain quail. If we had California quail, it's the three quail species that we can find in one day. That's pretty good. Quails aren't the easiest birds to see. That guy's happy for me that I saw that mountain quail. All right, so now we're in uh, Mount Laguna and it's raining, look at that. As you can see, now we're in like the, it's like mixed deciduous pine forest. Right, so now I'm up in the forest. I kind of turned off this random road. It just rained here, so uh, the birds, it seems like, are pretty active. So there's lots of uh, California scrub jays around. Um, I just saw some dark-eyed juncos, lots of acorn woodpeckers. So I was uh, fortunate to have a black-headed grosbeak. Super beautiful bird right above me. All of these scrub jays are making a lot of noise. I hope they're not scaring other birds away, but the other jay that should be easy to get up here is the Stellar's jay. Those guys should be everywhere. So I'm picking up some more species, which is good. Mountain chickadee, western bluebird, tons of pygmy nut hatches. I did hear one white-breasted nut hatch. And check this out, these are acorns that are cached by acorn woodpeckers. Look at that, going all the way up the tree. I still have not seen a Stellar's Jay yet though, which is kind of nuts. Stellar's jays should be all around here. And I actually just saw an American robin, which although robins are super common across much of the United States, they're not very common in San Diego County unless you go to the right habitat. It's really nice here. I don't really feel like leaving because, you know, it just rained here, it cooled down. It's probably about 75 degrees. It's perfect. I'm gonna get out of here. I can't believe I didn't see a Stellar's jay. Did not get the oak tip mouse either. Um, I'm gonna miss a lot of birds today. <laughs> uh, part of it is just me being inefficient and just kind of being too curious and hanging around trying to find stuff when I probably should be moving on. Part of it is that I'm busy filming this video, flying the drone. Part of it is also my birding skills right now are not up to par because I've been busy studying for the LSAT for the past year and a half. I'm, uh, I'm pretty rusty. You know, a lot of the chip calls are, are passing me by and...